Welcome again to my channel. This is Oak with Oak Astrology School. I am also a holistic chef, a ritualist, and a matchmaker. Today I want to talk about one of the most important times of anyone's life, which is the Saturn return. And that occurs between 28 to 30. At 29, pretty much, is 29-30 is when Saturn will come back to the exact degree of where it was when you were born. So one full rotation around the zodiac, around the sun, and then meeting it, meeting that point when you're born. And that point is representative of maturity and making very important decisions about your life. But why? This is the question. This is the topic for today. Why does Saturn return involve being broke? Why does that happen? Why is the scarcity of funds something that, that oftentimes occurs during the Saturn return? And Firstly, I'll, I'll address that, you know, Saturn return is technically from 28 to, 20, to 29, 28 to 30, but I would say in, in seeing clients for the past 10 years almost, I would say 27 to 32 is the period of time that really just feels so heavy and dense like the Saturn return. And, you know, it takes a long time because... Saturn is a planet that naturally represents the aging and maturation process. And so money is the equivalent to what Saturn represents, which is agriculture. So Saturn as an agricultural planet really represents the tending to the earth. And so in our lives, it's like the tending to our lives. And even though not all of us, because in modern era, we are not bound to the fields. I mean, agriculture is still fundamental to life itself for all of us. But the way that society is set up, there's more happening in cities versus what is happening in farmlands. But on that meta metaphoric level, we can definitely think of it as like the, uh, you know, tending to the inner landscape, tending to our inner internal terrain or even our external terrain which is you know what you inhabit and so because that is being activated during the saturn return it's like we're needing to deeply learn the terrain deeply learn our soils right like i think of people as different features of nature oftentimes like some people are like trees some people are like you know beautiful flower bushes if you're a succulent, for example, versus like a very like luscious tropical plant, like you will need different kinds of nutrients. And as children, we are bound to the structures that we were we inherited. So our parents, society, and those structures may not have been able to feed us properly. They might not have cared for us well. They might have been giving us the wrong nutrients, gave, giving the, the tropical plant the, the nutrients for a succulent plant and how that was so horrible and traumatic probably or just really was not it. It just was not the right environment. And when we are having our Saturn return, we are essentially creating a better environment for ourselves. And it's, it's done by our own hand, right? And so it is the same thing when it comes to money because that is an extension of this, this concept of agriculture. So a lot of times when people are having their Saturn return, yeah, they, they're leaving a corporate job and they're like, I need to be more authentically me or I need to step it up, whatever that looks like, or you're making a big, big decision for your life. And I really want to think of it as like, what is the, the deepest level of nutrition that it will be for your soul to walk on your path? And that is really scary because what if everything that has occurred in your life has been something that has not been nutritious for you on a, on a, on a soul level, on a level of what it means for you to live well? And so that is why the Saturn return is oftentimes very difficult because we're having to look at every single thing that contributes to our soul's nutrition. Wow, this analogy is like really getting out of hand. <laughs> I, but you get, you get what I'm saying though. But this is why money is so important because when we receive money, 
especially for a job, right? It's like, sure, we can want money just to like pay our rent, but I think that we're much more than that. And our, our money being such an extension of our bodies, like you literally sit your ass at a job from eight to five, Monday through Friday, and that's your time, that's, that's your energy, that's like so much of an extension of you. So that money being returned to you is a, is a definite mirror to you as a being, especially in a capitalist society, right? So this is interesting and it makes sense. And this is why money is such a big topic. It's like, how can I make my money be such a reflection of my worth, of my talent, of my skill, of where I'm becoming? And is that a divorce to choose that? Is that a divorce from everything that I learned from my parents? Is that a divorce? Is that such an opposition to the way that I experience how society treats me? Or what I'm trying to develop myself into in a society that has, you know, if you're like a person of color, it's like, it's a, there's a lot of oppositional forces. You're working with a lot of things. Like when it's a Saturn turn, like we're working with how we relate within the system of the society that you, that you grew up in. And maybe there's choices that we need to make to really create a better structure for ourselves, right? Like I think of, I literally think of it as like, what does it take to grow a plant, right? There is the nutrients in the soil, but if this location that you place the plant in a flower pot or whatever, if it's not in an area that gets appropriate sun, like that plant is gonna die no matter what, right? Even if it does have good nutrients. And then there's also like the the ancestry of the seed, right? Like is this seed like a, a healthy seed or is it like coming from kind of like a f f plant family where it just was not like uh, as nutrient, like nutrient dense, like everything that happened, <laughs> everything that happened before the seed came to be. Oh my God, the analogies. I feel like I'm a little bit more articulate than this, but I guess this is what we get today. So. <laughs> Um, so another thing too about the Saturn return, my friends, is that if you're watching this at, you know, we're seven minutes in, if you're actually watching this right now, you're probably like in the middle of your Saturn return and you're like, why, <laughs> why me? And it, it, it's a, it's a process. It takes a while to learn. There's no, like, you don't have an instruction manual. You know what I mean? Like, well, actually you do it's actually your birth chart <laughs> your instruction manual is your birth chart which is why astrology is a master tool i didn't make the rules you guys <laughs> no but yeah like if we were going through our saturn return through our lives without astrology then there essentially is not really a instruction manual for you to live well there's like maybe psychological tools, psychological processing. There's like generalized information about how to have a good life, but your birth chart's a pretty good indicator of like so many things that determine who you are and what is nutri nutritious, what is like deeply uh, satisfying, gratifying, and inspirational, when it, aspirational when it comes to where, where we're making those decisions. Wow, I just answered my own question. <laughs> anyway, um, this information is coming from my Saturn Return Masterclass. And it's a two hour class where I really go over so much of what you need to get be prepared for the Saturn Return. Like it is such an important period of time and having the tools, in addition to getting a reading, I mean like that is usually people come to me for the Saturn Return reading all the time they don't even know that they need astrology but they're just like i just need to talk to you and it it's it's some of the most important times to be with astrology because it is so grounding and rooting and saturn return is a lot about grounding and rooting so these types of tools are very supportive during those times when we just need to like like we're astringing ourselves we're pooling our own Kind of like skills and life force and and just like everything that we've developed up until this point so that we can make those decisions that are so deeply aligned so anyway y'all my name is oak with oak astrology school if you are interested in the saturn return masterclass it is there on my website 
oakastrologyschool.com. I have mentorships that happen throughout the year, plenty of classes, and then my consulting page is oakastrology.com. Thank you, bless. Bye.